What's up everyone, it's your boy Terry, speaking from the garage shop again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck Progden info, yeah. Well, we all know what's up with the Trailblazer SS. We got it running and uh, you know, we're just working some of the bugs out at this point. We're, working, we're tweaking it out, we're tweaking it out just a little bit. One of the things that always bothered me was the spark plug wires. Now, what I did when I built this engine up, I put the, the old spark plug wires in because they weren't that old. And now I find myself in a situation where I have to change them. Why? Because I had exhaust manifolds on before. And so now I have headers. And if anyone knows when you install headers, it's a different game because the headers are a lot tighter than exhaust manifolds. Spark plugs and spark plug wires are very essential to the performance of your car. So right about now, it's time for me to upgrade my spark plug game. And besides, whenever I go to a show, I want to be able to lift the hood up and be proud. So as always, I went and picked up some parts from Summit Racing, and they're in the area where I keep my parts. We're going to go over there right now. This minute, right now. We're going to go right now, and we're going to have a little chat. Come on. Come on. This is the stock spark plug wire, which you'll find on any stock LS engine. And this is great because it's, it's the length is already determined for you. And if you're using the stock coil pack and maybe exhaust manifolds, you'll be good to go. This thing bop, bop, and you're good to go. Trailblazer SS is no longer stock. So instead of exhaust manifold, it has headers now. So once you introduce headers to an LS engine, this no longer works that great because some of the spark plugs are gonna require to 90 degree. Then you got your 135, and then you got your straight. So I'm sure a lot of you guys, when you put headers on these LS engines, you probably experience the same thing. So the only option that I see myself doing is making custom wires. Custom wires are really cool because you get to you get to customize them. You get to make them as long as you want or as short as you want. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make custom wires for the Trailblazer SS. So it'll have that really nice look when I open up the hood and it looks custom and, and people don't look like I just was like, yeah, hey, what you just jam some stock spark plug wires in there and you know you don't want that. You want you want you want that custom look where people be like, I'll look at that. Yeah, Terry did some custom work on his spark plug wires. Yeah, so we're gonna get with that. So let's go over all the stuff I picked up from Summit. For spark plug wires, I went with the ICT billet spiral core spark plug wire. Now look how long this, this bad boy is. If you want to reroute your coil pack, because some people like that nice clean look where you don't even see the coil pack or you don't even see the wires, this is long enough to do the job. So you can put the wires pretty much anywhere you want at this point. And it comes with all the hardware. See, look at all the terminals right there. If you have headers, you could pretty much route your wires in any way and make it look really good. But I didn't stop there. No, no, no. You gotta get a crimping tool, all right? Now this is Summit Racing's crimping tool, and this is for just about every type of spark plug wire you're gonna have to work on. So we're gonna be using this. And I didn't stop there, no, because with headers, it brings heat. So I went with Design Engineering Protective Boot. Yeah, and I like the color that I chose. <laughs> and these protecting boots are cool because it prevents the spark plug wire from cracking. It also uh, is a universal fit for it, just about any type of angled uh, boot and it withstands uh, 1200 degree Fahrenheit. And you're probably saying to yourself, Terry, how could you possibly know that? Because it says so right there. See, I don't know if you can see that right there. It says it right there. I'm excited. Let's start making some custom wires. <laughs> now I plug this into the coil pack and then I just ran the wire, just let it fall where it's gonna fall. You know, I like move it where it's gonna be moved to the point where you have enough slack. As you can see, for the wire that I'm dealing with, the spark plug that I'm dealing with, it's about this long and if you notice it's a lot longer not that much longer but it's noticeably longer than the stock one which i had in the kit it's really cool check this out it gives you a 90 degree your 135 degree and of course you're straight the location that i'm working with on the spark plug that i'm working on is the best bet there we go now i'm going to cut this hold it firm Snip it real quick, don't even mess around. Don't even mess around. There you go. Now here's the part people don't like. If you use a little dielectric grease and some silicone in the boot, you see I'm putting some dielectric grease on it right now, and it slides on just like that. Look at that. See how it slides in? We should go over a couple of things. When you install these terminals, you could either do them one of two ways, depending on what terminal you have. You could do them a dual crimp, which is pretty much you're gonna put the sleeve in right here now this is the spiral core this is what's known as the spiral core all right so you're going to put the sleeve in 
and then you're gonna crimp it on the sleeve and then you're gonna crimp it on the core. And that would be a dual crimp. We're dealing with a standard crimp. So basically what a standard crimp is, you're gonna take the spiral core and you're just gonna gently fold it back like that. Now you want the spiral core to be on the back side of the terminal, just like this. Of course, you don't want it hanging out in the back. You don't have to trim it up. Now you can crimp it. See, see what, see what I got going on here? So now that spiral core is laying on the back of the terminal. And then you want to go and crimp it. So now you could use a razor and cut this, but you don't want to, you don't want to take a chance of cutting that spiral core. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ranch crimp. And if you notice, you see the top? First, right there. All right. So you're going to put your wire in there, just like this. And you're going to, until the ratchet stops, you just spin it a couple times. And you got yourself a nice, clean cut. And the cool thing about the ratchet tool is it even crimps it. Now, if you look, you see how it has like a little M right there? It's like a little M, just a little, just a little bit of, you know, it's like, like a little Dracula, like a baby Dracula fang. You see that thing right there? We're gonna put the terminal in just like this. Now remember, the, the, the wire is gonna be in there. So now if I ratchet down on this, you see how it's doing? If I ratchet down on that, it's gonna create that little M, that little, that little Dracula fang, it's gonna create an M and it's gonna secure the sleeve to the terminal. All right, now one more note. You remember earlier when I used a Sharpie to mark the wire? That wasn't only to figure out how long I wanted or how short I wanted, it also was to figure what position I'm gonna want this boot to be in when it's all said and done. Because the last thing you wanna do, you don't wanna put the wire into, into the coil and then the boot, you're gonna have to twist around like this and all that and all that. So I wanna make it like a nice clean look. So pop and when it's all said and done, this is just gonna pop in straight just like that. It's not gonna have to be twisted or anything like that. Wires be all messed up and bent. Let's get back to what we're doing. We're gonna fold the spiral core back, push the terminal onto the sleeve. Now remember, you want that spiral core to land, make connection with the terminal. And then get our little ratchet crimping tool. As it tightens, that M is gonna bend the tabs inward as you go. And it's gonna crimp it. It's gonna look just like that. You can move the boot into position and that's pretty much it. But we got one last thing to do. We wanna test the resistance. Now, a spark plug wire is 40 to 50 ohms per foot. So let's see where we stand. Let's get our ohm meter. And we put one end here, and we put one end here. Now this is five to seven inches, so I'm reading 27 ohms. So I feel confident that there's no breaks and I'm gonna go and install this spark plug wire. But I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, but Tommy, what, what, about, what about the boot? What about the spark plug boot? <laughs> I'm way ahead of you. That's why I got it right here. And so we're gonna put this on, I believe this one goes like this. And we'll see what it looks like. Slide it on through. I'm gonna install it. Let's check it out. See, I got the spark plug, custom made spark plug wire. You know, I got the boot installed. And uh, spark plug wire, it, it, it's not even thinking about touching the headers, see? Worked out very nicely. See how good that looks? We made a custom spark plug wire, we put a boot on it, and we tested it out, and we're good to go. I just got I just got seven more to do, and those are gonna be the real tight ones, so it's gonna take me a while. But even still, it's gonna look beautiful, all right? I wanna thank you guys, yeah. I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for the love, the support, the caring, because that's what this is all about. 
sharing and carrying the knowledge. That's what it's all about. So don't forget, hit subscribe and do me a favor. Go to every video that I have and hit likes. That's right, because that allows us to do more fun stuff. You understand what I'm saying? All right. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that bell. Pop that bell. Pow! Because what that does, every time I put a video out, guess who gets notified? you and you're not going to miss it because i got tons of videos hitting you and there's going to be a four link suspension a 69 camaro we're going to get back on the 67 chevelle project we got and we got some surprises coming at you but i'm looking at the clock on the wall or should i say ceiling it's time for me to head on off and get busy doing some more stuff because like i said i'm going to hit you guys with a whole lot of videos coming soon so you do not want to miss it and there's going to be some more surprises so you want to check it out and as always please as always Mm -hmm. Be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.